Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's explore that Unity Asset Store once again. So in this one, I would like to take a look at a couple of animals. Now, in various different games, animals obviously play a vital part in a lot of things. And I've got a few animals from the Asset Store, which I feel are at least kind of maybe creepy, cute, even a bit crazy. So depending on what style of game you are looking to create, some of these might just be absolutely perfect. So let's get to the asset store. As always, hold control, press nine, or we can go to window and go down to asset store. Now the first one I'm gonna look at is a cat. And there are a couple of different cats on the asset store, but this one in particular, I like a little more than some, but I'll explain why when we get to it. And if we go and type cartoon cat, we should be able to find it. And it is, of course, free because, as I say, I always do free things on this. But please feel free if you find something else in the asset store, which is paid for. Don't hesitate if you feel it's just a couple of dollars and you want to do it. That's perfectly fine. Uh, so Cartoon Cat. And as I would say, I have no input from any of the developers on this. This is just something I've chosen myself. And this particular one, you may have guessed already why I like this one. It looks weirdly creepy. So depending on what type of game you're creating, like I say, this weird, creepy, funky looking cat might do just the trick. So obviously it's created by this person here, Zealous Interactive. And if you go and have a look, they have plenty of other things to take a look from. Uh, a couple of free things, uh, some paid things. But overall, I just like how this weird thing looks with its eyes. So when we've downloaded it, obviously we would click import or download and it will allow us to bring it in. Let's head back to our scene and here we have cartoon cat and as always a nice demo scene i love demo scenes because they give you a quick instant view of what this looks like so i'm going to press play and pretty much straight away we can see this weird cat and it's got everything you would need with it everything you could possibly need you can see all these animations it's kind of cycling through here and if we go into the fbx itself we can see the different types that we can use now, obviously, these are already intertwined with this FBX here, but we can always hold Control, press D on the animations to extract them and use them ourselves. And I always use uh, an animation component here. Uh, if we go on Cat Idle, it is the animator. As uh, I've said on many tutorials and probably this series before, I prefer the animation component because it gives us a little bit more freedom on how to control the animation. But overall, remember here, we've got all the animations we would possibly need for this cat. And if we go to materials, obviously the materials there, and we can always play around with anything we need. So if we zoom in on the cat, uh, remember that we don't necessarily have to keep it that color. We have, you know, that kind of color. So these assets are for you to modify in whichever way you feel necessary because there's a lot to do here. So the next one I'd like to move on to is something called Living Birds. Now this one I like because it's real, real inventive. So if we go to the asset store and let's type in Living Birds. And it's the first one right here. And once again, no input on this is something I found, which I kind of like and created by this person right here. And they've got a couple of different uh, assets. So please feel free to take a look. And as always import or download, whichever you have and then bring it in and we have it right here. And once again, that little demo, I love these demos because they make things easier. Now this one looks a little bit intricate. Now, if we press play, it kind of gives us not necessarily a game to play, but you can see how this is actually working. And if we look around, we should be able to hear a couple of sound effects. And here we are already. Now these are using some AI pre-built in and you could theoretically use some of this AI for your own game, depending on how you want to work this. So if we go into a couple of other folders here, we can see the materials. We have all the different possible materials that we could use, different colors, different aesthetics, and it's pretty cool. The model itself, we can see we have different ones. So you're more than welcome to import any of these into your game, depending on what you would want. We have the prefabs here, uh, resources that we can use. 
and the sound effects right here and they're even labeled to the actual bird type now i find that impressive a lot of work has gone into this particular asset and if i go file uh, new scene so let's create a new scene let's go to our prefabs uh, sorry models not prefabs and it's as simple as that just dragging and dropping and bringing them in so obviously because birds are fairly small these are going to be fairly small models and you can always increase them but don't forget we can always add the different kind of uh, materials there and those materials are always available for you to play around with so we could change it to standard make it look really metallic really smooth and you can see that just by changing a couple of things here it makes it look so much better in whatever way you would want it to be don't get me wrong the original ones are pretty good but there is a lot you can always play around with so I would recommend this, um, especially if you're creating maybe a city kind of scene and you want just some little birds flying around because as I say, there's already a little bit of um, coding already gone into this with some uh, artificial intelligence for the birds themselves. So another one I want to look at in this episode, if I close them two up, is a tiger. And I like this one because it just looks cool, I think. And it's just called Golden Tiger. And once again, it is free. And I believe it is by the same person as the cat from the original one. So we can see here, and we've already been and seen what they've got there. Uh, also, one thing I will note, there's always reviews in the asset store. You can see what people uh, think of it if you don't want to quite take that chance. Most things will have at least one or two reviews, and some things do have a lot of reviews. Maybe take a look at them if you wanted a little bit more insight. So this one, import, download, yep, already brought it in. And we can see here, we have a demo scene and a couple of various FBX files. So let's open up the uh, tiger scene, head here, and let's double click on our tiger. So by default, it is tiger idle. And if we press play, we can see it playing its idle animation. And as with all of the other um, various animations that we have, we have them locked into the FBX, but we can always take them out. So hold control, press D to extract them into their own individual file. And because this tiger idle is uh, animator, I'm gonna remove that and add in my good old friend animation. Let's change it to one and let's try out this walk animation remembering to change it to legacy. Now, if we go back and change it to loop and press play, we should be able to see our tiger with his walking animation. Now, another good thing about this is, much like every other asset that I always bang on about, we're free to change as we need to. So if we go to materials, we can see right here what we can change. So let's have a look at this normal map. That's great. Let's click on create from grayscale and click on apply. And we can see instantly the tiger looks a bit more, not odd, but it looks a bit like a model there. So depending if you wanted perhaps a model looking tiger with no animation, it was say you're creating a theme park and you want a couple of plasticky looking tigers at the entrance. There you go. You've got something like that. Or if we want to change the texture, we set say we go on the uh, material. Let's change the albedo to a bit darker so we can see we've got that style tiger. It just depends what you want to see for your own uh, objects here. And again, we could change that. You can see there he looks a little bit creepy, but again, it's the style of what we're aiming for here, or rather, what you're aiming for. And we can undo that and change metallicness smoothness you know it looks kind of evil there if you do think so so this is what i mean with the assets you're free to modify them in any way you can literally take this asset and create your own tiger and it's great in doing so there's so much you can do the asset store is an amazing place and honestly guys never feel afraid to use something from the asset store in your game because once you download it you do own that license and i do have a couple of videos explaining um, things like asset flipping because i know asset flipping is a little bit of a tricky word to use when it comes to unity development but never be afraid to explore what is in the asset store because you will find fantastic things here
absolutely fantastic. Even if you go to the home page and you scroll down, you, you'll see a multitude of things which can be useful to you in your game. So guys, until we explore the asset store another time, thank you very much for watching.